Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection, a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. My name is Audrey Zorik, director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church. We are so happy that you join us today. And I want to welcome each and every one of you to another Kids Connection program. Today, we are presenting Kids Connection program outdoors. I like when Sabbath comes because I get to spend some time with you guys playing, singing, and participating. And I miss you guys so much. I wish you were here. Today's lesson, we are going to learn something that we should all be doing all the time. So stick around, get ready. We're going to be playing together. We're going to be singing together. We're going to be praying together and having a lot of fun together. And without any more delays, welcome to Kids Connection. Let's sing our song of the day together. I remember singing this song, the same song, at church with you guys. How everyone was doing all the motions and we had a lot of fun together. I hope you still had a lot of fun singing at home too. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another beautiful day that we get to worship your name. We ask your presence as we learn more about you and your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you remember when we went to the streets of Los Angeles last year? and we donated blankets and meals to the homeless and people in need? If you didn't get a chance to participate, don't worry, we'll do it again. We were able to help 500 people. Now 500 is a lot of people. 
In today's mission story, we're going to learn about Adra. Adra is an entity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and what they are doing to help the homeless and people in need in other places of the world. This kind of project was actually created by the government because they need to scale up nutrition and there is a need in Mozambique. Right now, the chronic malnutrition rates are really soaring. They are above 40%. And this is, is generally across the country, although there are certain places where it is higher. In Maputo also, they discovered that it's above 30%, which also includes districts like Bowani. So that's why we feel like it's, it's important that the students should get also part of the meal because they might not be getting enough. When we started, we had our school feeding funded by ADRA International. The other part of the donation was through the food that we are still receiving through Rise Against Hunger. Being part of this project, they receive rice. The rice comes in a packet with soy and dehydrated vegetables. And inside each packet, there is a multivitamin packet within the, the food that we, we distribute. So every time they get a uh, ration size which is almost equivalent to a 700 kilocalorie in supplement to what they get from home. When we started the project, we did some anthropometry where we were weighing the height and the weight of the students and we analyzed it. And then we discovered that 50% of the students were really underweight. That was last year. And we are going to consequently uh, weigh the students. Right now we designed a cohort that we would follow up each month so that we have concrete results to see the changes that are okay. What we have noted so far has been an increase in the number of students. It started with 9,366. Right now we have 13,453 students. And last year when we ended we had 11,656 students. Now we can help Audra too and the missionaries by going to our website graceandconditional.com forward slash kids connection and find a link where you can donate and help the ministry of helping other people in other places of the world. And if you wish to donate to the Kids Connection program, you can just choose Kids Connection or you can send a check to the church and make sure you write on the check and envelope Kids Connection. Thank you. Now I want to remind you that tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon we have something special just for you. We are going to play kids games online via Zoom. So far, we played games like Treasure Hunt, Guessing Game. Last week, we played Charades. That was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys can join us too. Tomorrow, 1 p.m., and every Sunday, just go to our website, graceandconditional.com forward slash Kids Connection, and click on the advertisement to register for our program. Now, this is for kids only, okay? Now, I like playing games. I enjoy playing games with you guys at home, at church, everywhere. It's so much fun playing games. And today, we're going to play a game right here with In Kids Connection. I'm going to play here, and you guys are going to play at home. This is going to be fun. Now, I want you guys to get ready. Mom, Dad, you're welcome to join in too. Now, today, we're going to play a game called Simon Says. You know how this game works, right? I say something, Simon Says, and you follow. Deal? Everybody knows this game. I love this game. Now, to make it even better, I'm going to call my daughter, Lanessa, to come and play with us. Lanessa, come on over here. So, here's Lanessa. I'm going to give you guys instructions along for, with Lanessa, and you're going to follow the instructions. Okay? Let's give it a try. Simon says, clap 10 times. Very good. Were you able to do it at home? Cool. Now let's try it another one. Ready? Here it comes. Simon says, wiggle your body. Simon says, quicker. Okay, yes, all right. <laughs> okay, now Simon says, jump on one foot. Really good, are you doing it at home? Simon says, jump on the other foot. 
Simon says, stop. Okay. Now Simon says, clap your hands behind your back. Is it hard? Uh, maybe. Okay, Simon says, stop. Simon says, spin around five times. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're not gonna fall. You're gonna get dizzy. Whoa, you're good. Excellent. Now, here comes a hard one. Simon says, whistle. We have some birds here at home that they have no problem whistling. They're actually, I, I hope you can hear it, but they're whistling right now. They're singing right now. Cool. Next one. Simon says, jump as high as you can. <gasps> She's even jumping outside of the screen. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is fun! Yes! Nice! Okay, make sure you're not gonna fall. Make sure that you have your clear area so you don't you don't fall and you don't you're not gonna hit you're not gonna hit your furniture at home, okay? Okay, here comes the next one. Simon says, tickle someone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> okay, Simon says stop! <laughs> now are you tired? Yes? No? Here we go. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, sit down. Aha! Good job. <laughs> Simon says, tap your hands on your legs like drums. Simon says, stop. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, close your eyes. Simon says, touch your nose. Oh, she almost missed. Did you miss? Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, put your hands up. Just kidding. Simon says, put your hand down. <laughs> now here we go. If you're inside of your apartment or your home, I want you to open the door, open your window, and Simon says, go outside and scream, Jesus loves you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves you! I hope you got to do that too. Did you do it? I hope so. Thank you so much to Lenissa for participating. Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll call her in if we have to play it again. Now, do you want to take the Simon Says game to another level? Yes? Okay. After the video is over, watch the video again and ask your mom, your dad, or any adult that are, that are watching with you to do the Simon Says with you. Let's see if they can do it. Okay? Now, you might be wondering, what the Simon Says has to do with our lesson for the day? Well, in our classroom video today, we're going to learn something that your teacher is going to share that has to do with someone having to follow instructions. What those instructions were and who gave them those instructions. I hope that you find a way to follow the same instructions and do it. Now let's sing our song of the day again as we wrap up the first part of our program and go into our lesson for today.
Jesus, thank you for another Kids Connection program. Thank you for being with us. Thank you because you give us you give us the opportunity to worship your name. We ask now that as we learn more about you and your love and what people in the Bible have done, that we learn how to do it and continue to do it in our lives. Help all the boys and girls that are watching this program, all the adults as well. Keep them safe and help us to very soon be worshiping in Kids Connection in person again. Thank you for answering our prayers and for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope you had fun, and we also like to invite you to come and join us again next week for another Kids Connection. Go to our website during the week, graceandconditions.com forward slash Kids Connection. There you're going to find safe activity for kids. You're gonna find videos, you're gonna find the video, the song of the day. This video you can watch it again and listen to the story throughout the week. And you can also uh, watch the children's worship story of the week that is also today. All this information is on our website and it's specially made for you. You're also gonna find the link for registration for Kid to Kid, which is on Zoom at one o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow and every Sunday. Thank you for sticking around and for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope to see you next week for another great program. Until then, be good boys and girls. I miss you guys. I love you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. See you next week. Hi. Welcome, kids, today. Thank you for joining us this morning. Did you have fun at Kids Connection? I'm sure you did. I'm happy that you are here with us today. Did you have a great week? I would love to hear about it. Remember, you can always send us a message. Go ahead and send us your message so next week we can read it. Today I'm gonna to invite you to have a word of prayer with us. Let's bow our heads. Our Father in heaven, we're grateful this morning because you have been with us throughout the week. Thank you, God, because you have showed us in many ways that you love us and that you care for us. Thank you and we hope to learn today a little bit more about you. Thank you and please bless us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, tell me something. Do you like to play games? I'm sure you do. So why don't we play a game today? Uh, let's see. Can we play Simon Says? Okay, so Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch your nose. Simon Says, touch your ears. So now, let's see, let's make it a little bit more complicated. Simon Says, find something red. <gasps> You can point at it or you can bring it. So my something red, let me see. Oh, here it is. Oh, I found some toothpaste. This is my something red. Let's see, Simon says, bring a marker. I have a marker here. Did you find a marker? 
Simon says, bring a pencil. Yay! Did you know that in the Bible, there's also a Simon Says? Ah, you didn't know about that one, right? Let's think about what could be in the Bible a Simon Says. Do you have an idea? I'm sure you do. Why don't you share it with your parents or with your brother, sister, grandmother, someone that is with you? Why don't you share it? Where in the Bible do you think there's a Simon Says? Anyone? Well, let me tell you. Remember last week, we heard the story about how Jesus had risen from the dead. Do you remember that? Yes. And Jesus was now here to give us great news and last instructions here on earth. His disciples were happy to have him. They were happy because one more time they were able to spend more time with Jesus, learning more about him. But Jesus had only one plan in mind. He needed to make sure the disciples understood what was expected from them. And there's where the Simon Says comes in. God said, go and make disciples. Go and share what you have heard to others. That is where God started, Simon says. That is what I think. Probably you have another opinion. But you know, God gave us an instruction to go and share his word, word with others. Let me share something with you. Have you ever seen ants? You know, I loved seeing ants. I always enjoy seeing how well organized they are, how they always work together, how they always coordinate themselves. I don't know how, but they always seem to be following the same person. And you know what? I was reading that ants, they release this scent that is called pheromone and that leaves a trace behind and that trace helps other ants to know where the food is. So when one ant finds food, they don't only have it for themselves, but they also share it with someone else. And you know, just like ants, we also have something that we can share with others and that is the Word of God. For us, it's very easy to know that God exists. But there's some other people that have never heard about the Word of God. That probably have never heard that Jesus was here on earth. Yes, there are people that still need to hear about Jesus. And you know, that was the last instruction Jesus wanted us to follow. Go and make disciples. Go and teach others what you have learned about. And probably you're wondering at home, but how am I gonna be able to do that? I'm here at home. I can't even go out. How can I do that? Well, you could ask your parents if you could probably share this lesson with someone. You could probably write a little note saying, we miss you, we love you. Or you could write a memory verse. I'm sure you can come up with some ideas on how you can still share God even being at home. It will take more work from us because we have to do a little thinking, but I'm sure you'll get it. But Jesus wanted his disciples to go out, to go and share it with others. Just like ants, when they have found something, they go ahead and share it with others. The same thing with us. We have found Jesus, and we should not stay with that. We should go ahead and share it with others. Because Jesus was here on earth so that 
everyone can have eternal life. And he wants us to be the messengers to deliver that to others. Can you be a disciple? Can you help us spread the word? I hope this week you can help us bring that message to others that need to listen. So now it's time for our craft. Are you ready? This is gonna be a very simple craft. You're just gonna need two things. One pencil or crayon or marker, something to write with. And another one, it would be a white piece of paper or any color paper. In this case, I'm gonna be using a blue paper because that is what I have. And I'm using a cardstock paper, so it's a little bit heavier. So go ahead and grab your piece of paper and come back when you're ready. So let's begin. You're gonna take your piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in half. I already cut the other half, but you should have the other half of this one. You fold it and we're just gonna need half. So if you have a brother or sister, each one of you can have half and half, okay? So let's take it and let's lay it on, on our table once you have cut the half of it. You're gonna take the top corner and you're gonna fold it all the way down and you're gonna make like a triangle shape and you're gonna press along that crease so a line can be marked. And then unfold. And then you're gonna repeat the other side, the same thing. Press, press along the crease. And then once you press, unfold. Do you see an X? You should be able to see an X right here. So you're gonna take the top of the X and fold it right on the, on the middle where they come together. So you're gonna press to that little line and then unfold. And you're gonna press, you're gonna find where they come together and you're gonna fold it exactly there. Ready? So you open it up. Then you're gonna take these corners and you're gonna fold them inside, okay? Ah, do you know what we're making now? Yes, we're making an arrow. So now lay your pa paper on the table and you're gonna fold to the inside the paper so it can align your arrow. So you're just gonna take like an inch inside and fold it. Once you have the arrow, I made two arrows. I had already prepared one. And look at this one. They're not the same. They're different. So if it looks like this one, it's okay. And if it looks like this one, it's also okay. Um, so now you're gonna take your piece of marker and you're gonna write, in this case, I wrote his disciple because disciples, they follow, right? So whenever we see an arrow, we always think about following the arrow. So God is our arrow to follow. And I'm thinking that probably we can also write, follow him, or you can even write your name, I follow Jesus.
So anything you picked to write here, anything that helps you remember to follow the instruction God has given us to go and share the great news with others. Today we had an amazing lesson. Today we continue learning about the life of Jesus here on earth and everything he wanted us to do. Now you have a job because now you know that we need to share the great news with others. So during this week, go ahead and do something that can help the word reaching out to everyone, reaching out to others that have never heard about Jesus before. Do you want to do that? Let's have a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we want to be your disciples. We want to do and go wherever you lead us to. Please help us, God, so that we can be instruments in your hands and we can lead others to you. Bless these kids, bless their families, bless anything they have in their hearts. Please bless them and be with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much for being with us today. I hope you enjoy your class and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.